mira. You're gonna make a mess of the table. That's bird. Just give me that. Come over here. You get up on your stand, you bad baby. You get up on your stand, you bad baby. Get up there. and welcome back to my channel um, okay so this is a different kind of video for you all it's a tech video but it's a different kind of tech video it's um more of like a GoPro audio tech video and you might notice that my audio is so slightly different in this video and that's because I'm using a boom mic that I actually have mounted to my camera rather than the mic that I normally would wear on my shirt and that's because I'm going to show you guys how I mic my cameras and how I do the audio for my vlogging. I've had quite a few comments just mentioning how I have super clear audio for open face riding and um, I've actually had people ask me what kind of mics I use and different things like that. So anyone who's watched my videos knows that I wear like a beanie style helmet while I'm doing my vlogging and um, my audio, I've had quite a few comments about how clear it is. So I've also had people question like how I get my audio to be so clear when I'm not filming with a closed face helmet. So I'm gonna show you guys how I do that today. And then I'm also gonna show you guys how I power my GoPros without a battery for when I'm doing stationary filming, like in my garage or wherever. Because I actually was having a conversation with someone in my comments who was surprised to find out that you don't actually need a battery to power your GoPros. Yeah, it's super handy if you're just filming somewhere like in your garage or something like that and you know your battery keeps dying or your camera keeps getting hot because the battery is getting warm and it makes the camera hot and then your camera shuts off. So being able to power your camera actually without a battery prevents that. So I'm going to show you guys all of that, how I do it. You know, I'm not a professional tech like electronics person or anything like that either this is just what I've figured out through trial and error and if I do have any professional audio or tech people in my audience and you guys can feel free to comment if you notice something that I forget or something that you know maybe I just don't mention or maybe I don't know or if you guys have any other tips for me because this is all a learning process for me and this is just something that I've figured out through trial and error over the months and I do have at least one audio engineer in my audience I know that for sure Harley Geezer actually gave me some tips for doing the audio and miking two cameras with the same mic. And I'm gonna show you guys all of that and um, I hope that you guys can find it helpful or maybe entertaining at least anyway. Um, so let's just get into this video. So first of all, I know I'm probably gonna be using some equipment here that some people don't have or maybe is not available for the year of GoPros that you're using. I have a GoPro 8 and I also have a GoPro 10 and I have media mods for both of my GoPros. So they're sitting in the media mods right now. Media mods are super handy because first of all, you have this extra mic out here so if you don't have two mics or whatever this mic it actually picks up sound a lot better than the built-in mic on the camera but what I use these for is the ports that are on the back so you can plug in your charger you can plug in another USB for transferring your videos and photos and then you can plug in a mic here so it eliminates this big clunky mic adapter that GoPro sells for their cameras um, it eliminates that and it makes it super handy because you can just plug your mic right into the camera basically the mics I use is the Rode Wireless Go 2 so I've got my receiver here and then I've got my mic and then 
I also use this Apex head worn mic. So this is an Apex 570 head worn mic. It was about $150 at my local music shop. And I'm sure you can get away with using a cheaper mic than this. I know that Harley Geezer uses like a $20 Amazon mic and he has super clear audio too. You guys should go check out his channel because he also vlogs with an open face helmet and has really clear audio. His audio is probably better than mine because he's actually an audio engineer and knows what he's doing. So that's the mic I use. And then I'm also gonna be using this Y adapter. So that's how I'm gonna get one mic on two cameras cameras at the same time and then these are just my mic cords so this is actually for plugging the mic or the receiver right into the camera itself and then I will also show you guys it's the same principle if you don't have the media mod you're just gonna have to use one of these GoPro mic adapters so I think this was about 50 bucks actually and it works for my GoPro 8 as well as my GoPro 10 but my GoPro media mods were about a hundred bucks a piece I feel like it's more worth it to buy the media mods honestly but not everybody has money for that um it took me a while to save up to be able to do that kind of stuff and with help from my viewers i was able to actually do that kind of stuff so anyway enough of that boring talk let's just uh show you guys how i actually set this up anyone who watches my videos knows that typically when i go for a ride i'm always wearing one camera and then i also always will have one mounted to the bars of my bike the one camera that i have mounted to me is going to be hardwired to my mic so that's where this y adapter comes in the y adapter is going to get plugged into the wireless mic so you plug in your y adapter and then you've got these two ends on it and one end you're gonna go to the camera so that's gonna hardwire to the camera with that end and then the other end is actually gonna be where the mic that I wear on my head is gonna be plugged into and then this end I'll plug into my camera okay and then I can put this on my chest and then this whole big mess can actually just sit in my vest pocket once you have it on it's not as annoying once you have everything tucked into a pocket. And another very important thing too when you're doing open face vlogging is to make sure that you have this wind sock on your mic that you're wearing and to make sure that when your mic is on like this, you have it in front of your mouth. You don't want it like down here or like off to the side like this or like up here because then it's gonna be picking up way more wind noise. You want it catching the sound of your voice as it leaves your mouth. That's the one camera that I wear. And then with the camera that I keep mounted on my bike, that's the camera that will actually get the receiver. I'll put the receiver on the top of the media mod there. And then with the auxiliary port on the media mod, I can plug in this cord that goes from the receiver to the camera. And then that's it for that one because this is actually picking up the signal from the wireless block. So that's how I split the audio between two cameras. And I'm actually super happy that I started doing it this way because trying to sync my audio before that, it was actually just not even possible to do it perfectly. Okay, now, so if you don't have media mods for your camera, you can do this with just the GoPro mic adapter. Um, I actually went and ordered for myself these USB pass-through doors um, for GoPro. I don't think GoPro actually makes them themselves. So I ordered one for my GoPro 10 and I got the GoPro 8 one. And uh, so anyway, these are super handy because then you can use your GoPro mic adapter without having your GoPro door off or open and then you just plug that right into there and then the same setup like if I were wearing this camera on me I would just plug it into the mic adapter rather than into the media mod so all of the audio that is being picked up with this mic that I'm wearing on my head is going down to the splitter and it's being sent to this camera and then it's also being sent to this wireless mic, which is sending the signal to the receiver on the camera on my bars. Hopefully the way I'm explaining this doesn't make it more confusing for anybody because like for me, it's like 
super confusing. I don't even know how I'm able to explain it. So you would have to do the same thing. Like if you, if you were gonna, if you don't have any media mods for your cameras, but you have mic adapters, then it would be the same deal with the camera on your bike. So take this out of the media mod and you can actually plug the receiver straight in to the camera through the mic adapter. So you'd plug your mic adapter in and then you'd have to plug in this cord just into your receiver. And like I said, that's where this USB pass-through door also comes in handy. Okay, so that's that for that uh, kind of confusing mess of audio stuff. This is the setup that I use for my mics on my bike, or for my mic I should say. So the head-worn mic that goes to the Y adapter that splits off to the camera and then to the wireless Rode mic. And then on the GoPro 8 that I would have on the bars of my bike is where I would have the receiver for the Rode wireless mic attached to. And I have my decibel settings at zero on my Rode mics. Now I'm gonna show you guys how I power my GoPros without a battery. And this is super duper convenient if you're just doing videoing like in your garage or you know, around your house or whatever. The only thing that's kind of an inconvenience is you have a cord attached to your camera, so it makes placing the camera maybe a little bit tricky, but that inconvenience is worth the fact that you don't end up having to change your batteries out every half an hour, and you don't end up having like your camera get too hot and shut itself off. I've been able to film for like hours on end with my GoPros without them getting too hot and without the batteries running out. I actually fill my SD cards up before the camera has any issues at all. It's actually super simple. You can use the charging cord that comes with your GoPro that's what I use for one of my cameras but then I also went out and I bought this insignia USB-C charging cable that's like 10 feet long so it gives me like plenty of cord almost like too much cord for just doing whatever videoing around the shop that I need to do um, and so that works great too um, if you're using one of these cords you will need like an extension cord and you will need charging blocks and it is important to make sure that your charging blocks are five volts and two amps if you have a charging block for charging your phone with it won't work because it's five volts but it's only letting out one amperage of power and that's just not enough power the gopro cameras need at least two amperage to operate without a battery now these charging blocks that i use are five volts 2.1 amps i wouldn't want to go probably any higher than 2.3 amps because if you go too high for amperage then you could just be giving your camera way too much power and then you could damage your camera so i've read that 2.3 amps is still within like that safe zone so anywhere between 2 and 2.3 amps should be safe to use to power your cameras with and 5 volts and any charging block that you get will say on the side of it the voltage and the amperage that it's putting out and i will try to find where you guys can actually order these online and then i'll put links to them in the description of this video um, as well as the charging cords and whatever um, i was using for my audio setup as well i'll put as many links in the description as i can so that you guys don't have to do too much hunting and you can just go and uh find what you need yourselves. I don't have the doors on my camera just so I can prove to you guys <laughs> for any doubters out there that there's actually no battery in my cameras. So neither of these cameras have batteries in them. I'm going to leave the doors off for the course of this video and you guys will be able to see my cameras powering on and also doing some video.
So, first of all, I'm gonna plug these in to my charging blocks. I'm gonna plug in my GoPro charging cord. This is actually a GoPro charging cord. It's what came with my GoPro. And then we've got an extension cord here. So I'll plug this one into the extension cord. They have in the extension cords a little bit of a pain in the butt because then you got this big clunky thing. And if you have your camera on a tripod, you need to find somewhere to hang this off of. So it's not like pulling your camera over. And yeah, it's kind of tricky. And that's one thing that I would suggest if you are plugging your camera in this way, I'll try to loop my cord. Like I'll try to stick it under here and loop it up like this so that the pin here is actually taking the weight of the cord rather than hanging all that weight off of the USB port in the camera because eventually if you're going to keep jostling that around you will end up wrecking internal components in your camera and uh, you don't want to do that. So just always make sure your cord is supported in some way. Okay, so now that my GoPro 10 is plugged in and as you can see still no battery, then I'm just going to turn it on. I have mine set to quit capture, so all I have to do is press the record button and it starts recording right away. And you guys can see my little baby bird taking a nap in front of the window because he's tired out after a bunch of mischief making. Okay, so I'm just going to move this off to the side. And I'm not going to use the second block because these blocks that I have actually have two USB ports in them. So I'm just going to plug both cameras into here. If I was doing this in the garage, I would be using separate blocks because um, my cameras wouldn't be in the same spot as each other. So this is the 10 foot cord and it's super handy. Now I'm going to plug my GoPro 8 into this. So stick that in to the second slot on this block and then I will stick it in the camera and you should see the red light actually come on. There you go. So you saw that blink because that's it getting power. I'm just going to turn the camera actually on. Oops. So now you can see it's actually recording. And you do get like a little symbol on there, that little red symbol, that's just to show that there's no battery. So these cameras are totally designed to actually be able to film this way. And it's super handy. Yeah guys, so that's how I power my GoPros without a battery and like I said, it just saves a ton of hassle and headache and it makes it so that you can actually get your videoing done in one day rather than having to wait for hours and hours for batteries to recharge and for cameras to cool down and all those other things like that that are just a major pain in the butt when all you're trying to do is get some work done. And as you guys can see, I'm going to insert some of this GoPro footage in there and you guys will be able to see that it works just the same as it always would like it doesn't affect the quality of the video or anything like that the cameras are designed to work this way and it's super handy and this is what I use to power my GoPros without the batteries so I've got my USB pass-through doors and then I've got a 10 foot charging cable and then I've got the GoPro charging cable and then I've got two USB blocks that are 5 volt 2 amps and as you can see, it says right on the side of the block there, right above my thumbnail there, that it's a 5 volt 2 amp charging block. And that is what you want for your GoPro. Anyway guys, I think that that was it for this video. If anyone had any other questions that they think I might be able to answer about this stuff, then feel free to ask them. But just remember, like I'm not a professional. This is all just stuff I've figured out through trial and error, so I don't have all the answers. And like I said, if you are a professional, or even if you've someone who's kind of just figured out their own way of doing stuff through trial and error, and you have different ideas or you know, better ideas or there's things that I haven't talked about that you want to give me tips on, then please feel free to let me know in the comments because that's always appreciated. It makes things a whole lot easier when you actually have simpler ways of doing stuff. That's it guys. Thanks for watching this. I hope it was helpful for some of you. And like all these guys, um, if you like what you see or if you just like me, or even if you don't like me, but you like my bikes or my bird, then um, like this video and comment down below and subscribe to my channel and I'll catch you all on the flip side. Peace.
looking out the window together. <laughs> He's just a baby bird, Tiny.